Welcome to a presentation on online collaboration. Collaborative activities are both challenging and very rewarding for the online teacher. Some studies were done in the 1920s by uh, social psychology, and they found the results of collaboration very promising. They said that it showed that groups were more accurate than their individual members. This points out a huge benefit for online teachers because by putting the heads together of the students in the classroom, they can come up with uh, more learning uh, from collaboration together. However, students cannot be expected to know how to collaborate on their own. This is one of the challenges. You cannot, as a teacher, just host a collaborative activity and expect that the students will automatically be effective as they move into that activity. This means then that the teacher does need to provide some type of information orientation activities as students move into collaboration. One of the learning theories that applies very well to online collaboration is Piaget's theory of constructivism. Now, constructivism is defined as the learner actively constructing knowledge rather than passively receiving it from the environment. This really does apply to collaborative learning because the students cannot be passive if they are effective in a collaborative um, environment. The activity itself um, requires the students to be involved, to be sharing back and forth, building on the knowledge of their classmates. The challenge then in a, for an online teacher is to provide the correct environment for this collaboration to happen. An additional challenge, which doesn't seem like it would be a challenge in this day and age, is the computer literacy of the students in your online class shell. We cannot assume as teachers that all students coming to us have the skill and knowledge to be able to effectively work within any technology. There are quite a few technologies available on the web to provide this environment for online collaboration. Discussion boards, of course, have been used for um, the last decade in online classes. Those have been supplemented more recently with some web 2.0 applications such as a wiki, a blog, um, that can, in other collaborative applications such as Google Docs, where students can collaborate together, even often in real time. Another theory we can look at and apply to the collaborative environment was uh, developed by B.F. Skinner called Radical Behaviorism. In Radical Behaviorism, behavioral events may be understood and analyzed in relation to past and present environments in evolutionary history. What this means for an educator is that you can look at activities in previous collaborative environments and predict how they might be when they are moved online. Most teachers have been involved in classroom discussions, classroom group work, other types of face-to-face -face collaborative activities. Moving these online, however, we can predict that in order to encourage uh, the appropriate collaboration, we might have to set some ground rules, we might need to encourage students um, in their collaborative activities. The model described as socially immersed learning model is another one that very definitely applies to the online collaborative world. This is based on the idea of, so, of students being very, very social. Uh, we all know with Facebook in this day and age and the number of students who are involved in Facebook that students already are collaborating socially on a daily basis, an hourly basis, sometimes a minute by minute basis. As teachers, we need to be able to take that social collaborative skill that they already have and help them move that to an educational environment and to use that skill to collaborate with their classmates to build on the knowledge of each other. A challenge that we have not met yet in our universities in this country that provide the teacher training programs that train our teachers 
is to provide training in the online environment for those teacher candidates. The online environment for a teacher who's been in the classroom for quite some time is very, very new and can offer some challenges for that teacher to move from a face-to-face -face environment to an online environment. For the teacher candidates who have not yet entered the classroom, I think it's critical that we include in those teacher training programs some additional training in the online environment. As part of this, training them in the collaborative activities um, would be very, very valuable in preparing them to be able to offer not only content online, but the collaborative activities that are needed to be able to help the students scaffold their own learning. There certainly are a lot of challenges when we take collaborative activities online. So why would we want to even uh, take the time to try to make things effective? Well, communication and conversation are among the keys to learning in any environment. When you move that environment online, the communication and conversation needs to happen in a different way. For us to be effective teachers, we need to be effective collaboration activity facilitators.